Welcome back to Couponing. Bye, Felicia. So today we are at Shoprite. It is the week of October twentieth. Um, the list is pretty short this week, but I am going to take you along my shopping journey today because I have some Catalina. $15 worth from our previous shopping trip from last week. So I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, Catalinas for items that I need that are outside of our normal couponing. So um, the items that I'm going to show you guys might not have a coupon. So it's not going to be on the breakdown sheet. But I'm just carrying you guys along so you can see what's going on in this order and how the out of pocket cost should be extremely, extremely low for the things that I really need to, and to um, update and refresh in my household so I realized there were a lot of seasonings that I'm out of and I needed a few fresh item things so I'm gonna go ahead and get those from the produce department but I do have some other food items on our list and there are two items on our list today that's gonna be completely zero dollars out of pocket and I want to say a big hello 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 to all the new subscriber subscribers welcome to the channel and um, if you're new to um, ShopRite and to my other couponing, um, travel recommendations, couponing, ShopRite, Wise, Dollar Tree, I try to get to every store at least two to three times a month. But my main store that I do couponing for is ShopRite. Every Sunday you could catch me here. If not Sunday, you can catch me on Mondays. And I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get this trip started so you can guys so you guys can see what's in store this week. Woo! All right, let's get it started. So, the first item on the list are Tina liners which are 2.89. I was going to grab 4, but they only have 2 here, so that's still okay. Um of course, you can find the breakdown available in the description box below. Just click the drop down button and everything will drop down there. All the links to anything you need, I bought a smart uh saving star, whatever link you need, fetch is available in the drop down box below or the description box below. I realized there was a difference when I was on the computer and the phone the drop-down box looks a little different so I like I said I had four coupons but I'm only going to use two because they're um, they only have a stock of two here available so from the October 6th smart source there is three dollars off of Tina products so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two and it's gonna be absolutely zero dollars out of pocket at uh, ShopRite, there are no overages, so um, a manager or someone will have to key in this item for the exact amount of $2.89, so it will be $0 out of pocket. Hey, if you get lucky and the $3 goes through, then that's good for you, but in most cases, there is no overage in ShopRite. All right, so the next item on the list is Dole Fridge Packs, uh, basically fruit in a larger size container than a fruit cup. I don't know why they call it that. It doesn't necessarily have to be refrigerated. You see it's in the dry aisle here, but it is on sale for $1.99. There is a ShopRite digital coupon on the ShopRite app for one dollar off, so that's going to be 99 cents out of pocket. On top of that, there is an additional saving star cube well rebate for one dollar off, so this is going to be a net cost of zero dollars and actually a one cent money maker. Wahoo for the one cent! Yeah. Um, also, they happen to have a coupon right here, so I'm going to still use my ShopRite digital coupon and take this coupon, make sure it's not expired, and this is pretty cool. So it, this, uh, it expires December 30th, and normally, like I say, most of the time, it's a limit of four items, so I'm going to go ahead and take four of these for the next possibility when they go on sale, and they're actually promoting like a recipe here that can be found on top of the um the dole fruit right here so you can pill here for the recipe and that looks pretty good so i'm gonna get two more of these and go to the next item on the list
so my normal shop right does not have an international aisle so i'm super happy that this supermarket has an international aisle where i can pick up some of my products so i can feel a little closer to home if you don't know i am part jamaican i was born in america but um i have um, embrace my culture of Jamaican. My dad is uh, Jamaican, so I am part Jamaican. So the next item on the list is not on the breakdown list, but it is on my list for today. I'm gonna pick up two ginger bears here. They are 99 cents, so it's gonna be basically 198 out of pocket. And once again, like I mentioned, I have $15 from my previous shopping trip, so it will be $0 out of pocket for me. All right, so once again, not on the breakdown, but I am picking up LaCoy soy sauce for $1.79. I haven't tried this one before, so this will be the first time I am giving it a try. Two of the items that I need or happen to be right next to each other, the Jamaican Choice hot pepper sauce and the uh, Jamaican Choice Browning. So that is $1.89 for the browning and $0.99 cents for the hot pepper sauce. The Swanson's broth is five for five. So I'm just gonna pick up one, which is the beef broth, and that's gonna be $1. And once again, I don't have any coupons for this. It's just on sale. So the next item on the list is Worcestershire sauce. And to tell you the truth, I just looked up a YouTube video to see how to pronounce it because a lot of people pronounce it wrong. So how do you pronounce it? But I'm gonna pick this up today at $1.99. That is the original cost, it's not on sale and I do not have a coupon for it, but I'm gonna pick up Heinz sauce here. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> All right, next we have butter beans. They are 149 and once again, I do not have a coupon for these. I just need a can. Okay? Just going to grab these right here. 149. And then I'm going to grab some all well, ground all spice at 349. Once again, this has no coupon, but like I mentioned, if you get extra rebates or if you get the Catalinas, instead of um, purchasing more of the same product that you got the Catalinas for, I decided to use it on additional food items that I need. So that's why I'm picking up these additional ingredients and items that I just need to restock in my spice cabinet and other things as well. Next item on the list. Super cute. We are ready for some cereal. I'm saying super cute to Baby Shark. I can't believe the cereal is actually in the supermarket. So my sister did a trip. Um, she did a volunteer trip in Haiti some time ago. It had to be about four or five years. And she said Baby Shark was popular there about five to maybe even six years ago. And for it to be so popular and it's uh, about two years ago, Baby Shark became popular and now it's reviving itself again it's actually in the supermarket the baby shark cereal but that's just a short story we're not getting baby shark cereal today we are actually getting honey nut frosted flakes oh my goodness when i show you this deal you're going to be blown away I hate to be a little selfish, but it's gonna be a little sweeter for me than for you. But I'll tell you how this deal can be amazing for you as well. So the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes is on sale for $1.99, and that's the 13.7 ounce. It's on sale, so we're gonna grab two boxes today. The reason why we're gonna grab two boxes, that's gonna be a total of $3.89. There is an internet printable that I was able to grab from my points. The link is in the description box below for 50 cents off. And as I remind you all the time, coupons at ShopRite double. So that's basically two coupons for a dollar off. So yes, you would get two dollars off in the supermarket walking out. So that would be 198 out of pocket for you. But for me and my previous shopping trip, I was able to get a coupon 
or should I say a Catalina for a dollar and 50 cents off of two Kellogg cereal, 10 ounce or higher. Now this would trick you because it says Raisin Bran there. You would think it would only be Raisin Bran, but I actually read it and it doesn't specify which cereal. It expires October 27th. So I'm gonna pair that with these two coupons. And the reason why I'm able to do that because it says store coupon. If it said manufacturer coupon, I would not be able to use it. And also, for you that are just tuning in, always be um, reminded to refresh your printer when you're printing coupons. You cannot make a copy of the coupon. These numbers need to be different. You see, at the end of this number, it has a 4583. This one has a 1664. If those numbers happen to match, that would be coupon fraud. Basically, you're using the same coupon over and over, and that's a big no-no in couponing. So for me, I'm walking out of the store with these two boxes of cereal for 48 cents. Then, on top of that, there's more. Ibotta has a rebate for a dollar back on each box, up to five boxes. So if you need more boxes, go ahead and grab them but there's gonna be a $2 rebate. So for me, this is gonna be a net cost of a money maker of $1.52. Isn't that amazing? I have a question for you guys. Once you've become a coup couponer, is it a little easier for you to step away from telling the kids to stop opening up every box of cereal? Or you still have to do that. Because I find that, oh my goodness, it's like a breath of fresh air now. Oh, go ahead, open up as many boxes of cereal. <laughs> we don't want to be wasteful, but now that I coupon and it's a lower out-of-pocket cost when I become a couponer, I don't find myself doing that as often. How about you? <laughs> So once again, Silk Almond Milk Alternative Yogurt is on sale for $1. I happen to have this coupon from my points for 55 cents off. And as you know, coupons at ShopRite double. So let me just make sure that's the right ounces. Yes, 5.3 ounces. So 55 cents is gonna be totally free out of pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, hoping that this is the peach. It, it doesn't, oh, the sign says peach down there. So $1, this is gonna be $0 out of pocket. So the pepper that I need is not available. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this pepper a try for a recipe that I'm going to produce. So this is 99 cents, no coupon. I'm just gonna grab one. Bag of carrots are on sale for 69 cents. Well, at least the one pound bag. So I'm gonna grab the one pound bag, hoping that it's 69 cents. I'm gonna grab a bundle of scallions, green onions, 30, sorry, three for $1.99. So I'm just gonna grab a one bundle, which should be about 66 cents or so. Yeah, grab that right there. So it is that time again, as I usually say, grab a quiet aisle or a quiet corner so you can go through all of your apps. If you need to scan Ibotta to make sure the item qualifies for that rebate, um, go through all of your coupons. And even like right now, I think earlier in the video, I mentioned that the Kellogg's Honey Nut uh, Frosted Flakes coupon was from my points. It's not, it's actually from the Kellogg's Reward website, which will be in the description box below. So we only have one manufacturer coupon that comes from the October 6th newspaper. Everything else was either a ShopRite coupon or an internet printable coupon. There is one Ibotta rebate, one Saving Star rebate, 
and that's about it so all of my other items were just basically so you can see what's in the supermarket don't be afraid to browse around especially when you get those Catalinas instead of like I actually got my $15 in Catalinas from the diaper deal last week and I didn't need more diapers so the $15 I'm actually using on my shopping trip this week so you can see there's other ways that you can use your Catalinas of course it's free shop right money you can do whatever you want with it so if you saved your Catalinas let me know what you use them for this week um, but you can also roll your Catalina. So if you know you needed more diapers, you can absolutely have taken those $15 in Catalina and purchased some more diapers. So it would have defrayed the cost on your purchase for the diapers. Um, that's about it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, this supermarket does not have a self-checkout. So I know a lot of you guys do not like the self-checkout, but I happen to actually like the self-checkout because it's not any pressure there. And I can take my time scanning my own coupons and bagging my items myself. And then at the end, what I normally do, I save the tricky coupons for customer service rep to come over and help me with those coupons at the end. So it might be four or five. And once again, like I said, those are normally the coupons where it's an overage and that's when they have to manually enter those in also as a note for printing coupons and to save on your ink when I'm printing coupons I make sure I flip to black and white when printing out my internet printable coupons for some reason when the coupons print in color it's harder for them to go through and let me tell you when your internet printable coupons, especially ones like my points, do not go through, then you do not get your points and rewards. So my points, the link is in the description box below with my referral code, please help, help, help. Um, with my points, when you print the coupon, you get one point. But when you redeem that coupon, you get 25 points. That's how your points build up so quickly with my points. So in one trip, if you had 10 coupons and use them printed them from I, my points and then use them in the supermarket that would be 250 points for using them and then that would be 10 cents for printing them out sorry 10 points from my points for printing them out so that completes my shopping trip today please stay tuned the uh, excel breakdown is in the description box below thank you for watching please share like comment subscribe i also will be developing the playlist so if you want all Shoprite videos you can do that if you want all dollar tree videos and also all travel recommendation videos that will be available coming soon i might even have a few available right now so i hope you're saving hundreds of dollars by shopping with couponing bye felicia next time see you later been like dancing out of the supermarket out of the supermarket less than three dollars for all of those items less than three dollars out of pocket